Number 32. A person in good physical condition can put out 100 watts of useful power for several hours at a stretch, perhaps by pedaling a mechanism that drives an electric generator. Neglecting any problems of generator efficiency and practical considerations such as resting time, letter A. How many people would it take to run a 4 kilowatt electric clothes dryer? All right. So uh, first thing I notice, right, is... Um, we have one value in kilowatts, right, and the other in watts. So let's just make uh, some consistency out of those units. So let's take the four kilowatts, all right, four kilowatts, and simply convert that into watts. And you can just move the decimal three places uh, to the right. Another way to do it would just be to divide by, uh, excuse me, multiply by uh, 1,000 by knowing that for every one kilowatt there are 1,000 watts, okay? So the kilowatts would cancel. And thus now this becomes 4,000, all right, 4,000 watts. Okay, so the clothes dryer um, requires 1,000 watts, excuse me, 4,000 watts of power. And right, an average good physical conditioned human can produce about 100 watts of useful power. Um, so how do we find then how many people it would take uh, to right, power this 4,000 watt Electric clothes dryer, it's a straightforward division, right? It would be 4,000 uh, watts, right, for the electric clothes dryer, divided by then 100 watts, right, per person. And essentially when this value, uh, this person value being in the denominator of the denominator is essentially a numerator value. But uh, don't, don't worry too much about the units. I've gone over dimensional analysis before. And um, I think this one's fairly straightforward. So it should be 4,000 divided by 100. So this would take about, right, about 40 people, all right, to, uh, to run a clothes dryer. And, uh, you know, I don't know, in terms of, you know, uh, in terms of how long the clothes dryer runs, I mean, it might run for about an hour. So I don't think anybody needs necessarily any rest um, for that hour. But so now for letter B, it says how many, so let it be how uh, many people would it take to replace a large electric power, uh, power plant that generates 800 megawatts? So first thing is, um, let me write letter A here, and now we're going to tackle uh, letter B. First thing I notice, right, is that I'm given 800 megawatts, and right, the person's uh, power value is in terms of watts, so i got to do my conversion megawatts on the bottom, watts on the top, and know that there are 10 to the 6 watts in one megawatt. All right, so that cancels. All right, so this basically now uh, leaves me with a value of 8 times 10 to the 8 watts. Okay, so this is the amount of power uh, produced by that uh, power plant. All right, and now I need to find out how many people it would take. So it's the same process, right? We'll take 8, whoops, we will take 8 times 10 to the 8th and then divide that by 100. All right, and that'll tell us the amount of people. So again, if we can just, right, we're just going to basically subtract 2 from that exponent of 8. So this becomes 8, right, times 10 to the 6 people. Okay. And in terms of value, that's 8 million people. All right. So, yeah, that would be quite interesting. And then we probably would need, though, more people than that because... Obviously, these large electric uh, power plants kind of run, I mean, they right, they cycle. I mean, there's more, there's times at which uh, power consumption is higher than others, but, you know, we're going to have to cycle in people uh, over time. So it's going to be more than 8 million people in total, but 8 million people at a time will have to be employed to power the large electric power plant. So, guys, thank you for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. I thank you very much for watching. I hope this is helping you. And I wish you a great day and a good semester. Take care.